Hello and welcome to this episode of the How to Pronounce series. Today we're looking at the OO sound. To make the OO sound then, we need to pucker the lips, so bring the lips kind of pressed together. Um, we want just a tiny gap there at the front. Um, so what's happening inside the mouth when we make the OO sound is that the sides of the tongue press against the top teeth because we're contracting the mouth a bit um, but the middle of the tongue isn't too high it's not pressed sort of up against the top of the mouth we need there to be some space for us to release the sound through so the sound we're aiming for is oo oo um, when we make the sound we're releasing it over the tongue, but it, there's not a hiss. This isn't a hissing sound. Like, um, it's certainly absolutely nothing like a s or a sh. So there's no um, tiny gap between the tongue and the top of the mouth. We want a much bigger gap with the oo sound. Uh, and this is a long vowel. So the a short equivalent of this would be something like a. Uh, uh, which is much shorter than the oo that we want. As with the other long vowels in English, you could hold this much longer. You could say oo, but that's not necessary for any word that I'm aware of in English. Um, we need it to just be a little longer than a short vowel, enough for us to distinguish between something like a uh and oo. So in this video, we're focused on the so some example words then to illustrate roof shoot hoop tooth moon june truth blue rude grew. So that was the oo sound in a nutshell. As always, there is plenty more to be learned about this sound. So if you check the description below, you will find useful links to other videos. And of course, have a great day.